you're getting at. Everything you told me before. Okay. Introduce yourself. I'm not introducing. Will you get the camera out of my face? They can see me from back there. Okay, so when mixing dopamine, like our protocol says to put 200 milligrams into a 250 bag. And, and that is fine. Right. Exactly. You'll have 800 mics at the top of your clock. Um, I will mix it that way unless I have a patient that is a, extremely large because I'd rather have more. So we just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when it comes to dopamine, they're going to tell you to mix 200 milligrams into a 250 bag. Okay. And that is absolutely fine. If I have a large patient, I will actually double that up and I'll put 400 milligrams into a 250 bag. Um, I do the clock method. I know there's a lot of ways that people do it. I find that to be the easiest. Um, and the biggest problem that I've noticed with, with people when they go to do their dopamine is they mix up the math doing the concentration to find out what's at the top of the clock. If you don't know what is at the top of the clock, you're never gonna get the right dose at that point because um, it's gonna throw everything off. So let's say we're putting 200 milligrams into a 250 bag. When you do that, how do you do that? Do you spike the bag immediately and then add the dopamine to the bag and mix it up? Or you add it and then spike it. Why would you want to do that? Because then you're going to have part of the fluid in the drip system. Absolutely. If you spike this bag first and then add the dopamine yeah. and you flush your line, the line is full of whatever the fluid was, whether it's yeah. D10, normal saline, that's what's in the line. So yeah. it's going to take a little bit for them to actually start getting any of the medication. So we mix our, our bag first. We're gonna say 200 milligrams into a 250 bag. The way I do my math, and you can do this with, with any drug, so when you go to do your state exam, you're gonna have drip calculations on there. Um, what I do is I take the fluid, they're either gonna give you a 250 bag or a 500 bag, okay? And I think to myself, what do I need to do to convert that to a thousand? Okay, so if I have a 250 bag, I need to multiply by what to get to a thousand more? Four. So, I take my medication, which is 200 milligrams, and I'm gonna multiply it by the same. So I multiply it by four, gives me, it automatically changes from milligrams to micrograms. It does the conversion for you. So now I have 800 mics at the top of my clock. Let's say I gave you 400 milligrams of dopamine in a 500 bag, what would be my concentration at the top of the clock? 800. I have 200 milligrams going into a 500 bag. What do I have to multiply my fluid at to get to 1,000? Twice. Okay, so I multiply 200 by 2, two. which gives me Four. 400, which drops it down to... I'm confused now. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> if, you I lost multiply, me if I multiply this by 4 to get to 1,000, yes. okay, I multiply 200 by 4. Right. And that gives me... 800. What? 800 mics at the top of my clock. Right. If I give you a 500 bag and I tell you to do the same thing, 200 milligrams into a 500 bag, what's my concentration at the top of the clock? If I multiply my fluid by 2 to get to 1,000, I have to multiply this by 2. So 200 times 2. 400. 400. Okay. I have 400 mics at the top of my clock. Okay. Say I give you 400 milligrams of dopamine into a 500 bag then it's 800 mics. It'll work with anything. If I tell you lidocaine, I give you one gram of lidocaine to put into a 250 bag. What's gonna be at my clock? Four. Four what? Grams, or micrograms. You went from grams, it lowers it one down. Grams, there's one, you're gonna go grams, milligrams, then micrograms. <laughs> so I give you one gram of lidocaine to put into a 250 bag. You multiply this by four to get to 1,000. Yes. You multiply the one by four, which is four. Okay. So you have four milligrams at the top. One, two, three, four. Now, we're putting 200 milligrams of dopamine into the 250 bag. And that's the conversion that I do on the top of my head because it's the easiest way to do it. I just look at my fluid and I say, what do I have to multiply this to get to 1,000? Four. It doesn't matter if I'm putting 200 milligrams, 400 milligrams. If I'm putting 400 milligrams into this bag, I'm gonna multiply it by four. I now have 1,600 mics at the top of my clock. Once you know the top number, the rest is gonna fall into place. So, we have an 80 kilogram patient, okay? I give you 200 milligrams of dopamine to put into that 250 bag. What's at the top of the clock? 200 into 250. 
800. Okay. 800 mics at the top of my clock, and we're going to start at five because we discussed two to four and 16 to 20 are your renal doses. So you're looking for that five to 15 mics. So we're going to start at five mics. So how much do I want to give that patient if they're 80 kilos a minute? drops a minute are you going to give on a micro drop set? 30. 30 drops. Mm -hmm. So one drop every two seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. I practice doing my calculations for my drugs so that if I get that call at three in the morning, it's as easy as can be for me. Because yeah. if I can do it at three in the morning from a dead sleep, two in the afternoon is no problem. Okay. So all you have to think about is how do I get my fluid to be a thousand? It's 250 or 500, I'm either going to multiply by 4, I'm going to multiply by 2. You don't even have to know what the drug is. Say the state exam says, okay, Nicole, you have a 500 bag of normal saline, and I'm giving you 400 milligrams of pertillium. I don't even care if you know what pertillium is. Can you tell me what the concentration would be at the top of the clock without a pen and paper based on how I just taught you? 500 cc is how much? 400 milligrams of pertillium. 400 milligrams? 800 mics at the top of your clock. Do you need to know what pertillium is to even figure that out? Did you need your paper or pencil? And then, like I said, we all wear a wristwatch. You know it's at the top, you can just look there and figure out where everything else is gonna fall into place. But you just figured out that calculation like that. this down. <laughs> this is good stuff. Don't worry, I'm putting it on YouTube. <laughs> you good? 